Hi guys, Dramatic Aquatics. Yes, we've got our blue wall finished off eventually on the back. So that separates the two poly tunnels up. That's all done. And we've even got a, a visitor centre sign there, seeing Aquatic Centre. The sun's come out today. And so has the postman. And what's the postman brought? He's brought us three boxes of fish and also a box of live plants. So what we're going to do is we're going to quickly put these to one side for now. There's all the plants. Some Bobby Dazzlers in there. That's a giant bogwood. Look at the size of that, will you? I mean, a massive piece of plant with bogwood like that. We'll take out soon and have a look. It's only going to cost around about the 25 quid mark, I think. Hopefully a little bit cheaper. So we're going to get a blade. We're going to get these boxes put on the floor and then we'll open them take a look and see what we've got inside. So, let's have a look and see what the packaging's like. See what we've got in the box number one. More of truth, have they arrived safely? Let's find out. Well packaged. Will you look at that? <laughs> it's like a turkey dinner, tin foil. Wow. Couple of heat packs in there as well. Always good. Lovely and warm. What we got? Oh. Beautiful. Siamese fighting fish. Let's see if there's anything else. Unusual in here. Just put it down there for a second. Brown tail fighting fish. Another fighter. Another fighter. More golden garami. Small angels. Danny O's. The zebra Danny was the only fish that's ever been into space and they can regenerate it to a half. Impressive stuff. On a sinkless, great small algae eater. We'll have a take a look at them when they're in the tank. Pygmy Corridora catfish. Absolutely tiny. Look at the size of them little fellas, will ya? More fighting fish. Yeah. Baby Oscars. Look at the size of them. Are they? No, they're not. They are red honey garami. <laughs> they just looked a bit black there. It was, I was thinking they were on the small side. More light fish. Small moonlight garami. Nice sort of size. That's kind of it for that box. So we'll come back, we'll have a box look at Box number two. Looks a bit bigger. Hopefully there's some more exciting stuff in than just your fighting fish. That's a good sign for the foil. We'll keep this stuff. This is probably one of the best fish on this delivery. And it is a lungfish. Now this fish is absolutely incredible and dates back over 400 million years which makes this little critter 
twice as old as the dinosaurs. What these guys do in the wild, when the, the flood plains start to dry up, this fish actually makes himself, he burrows into the mud, after he's burrowed into the mud, he then builds a bubble nest around himself. Once he's done that, that goes hard with the sun as it gets baked, and it turns into like some sort of fossil. So if you look for mud fish hunting, you'll see people digging, they dig up these cocoons, snap them open, and out comes the fish, living in desert conditions. Absolutely incredible. You can live in the water, you can also live out the water for quite some time. Absolutely amazing. We're going to go and put him straight in the tank, and then we'll take a look once he's in there. So next in the box, bag of air, just for packaging purposes. Female guppies. There's a few in there, should be 25 ready for this weekend. As well as the female guppies, got some beautiful, these are stunning male guppies. Again, we'll be able to see these better once they're in the tanks. Some red Mickey Mouse platies. Ah, spiny eel. Brilliant little fish. Uh, I don't know if you can make out on the camera. But they are beautiful. Next up, Japonica shrimp. Great for eating hair algae. And a big armoured shrimp. Don't know if you're getting an idea of the size of these fellas, but they are cute. There we go. And finally, in this box, is your brochard eye, which you'll not be able to see there, but these are actually a tangenican. So there we go, get these in the tank and have a closer look very, very soon. That's it for box number two. Come back in a couple of seconds and we'll take a look and see what's in. Go box number three. More paper. So far it's been quite a good in boxing. I haven't had any fatalities just yet. Fingers crossed. We'll keep it up. Heat packs again. And we have got some red white flatties. Sunset flatties. Beautiful blood red parrots. Look at them bobby dazzlers. Absolutely incredible. Because we needed some more colour on the other side. So that's where these guys will be going. And hopefully. We've got two lots. There we go. Two lots of parrots. I say two lots of parrots. I say two lots of parrots. I say two lots of parrots. Some black me on Terra. <laughs> and finally some more dwarf yellow puffers. I'm going to get these in the tank. Uh, so there we go, all the fish are now in the aquariums. And it's almost time for us to leave for the night, but we've got new fish ready for the weekend. So in here we've got our female guppies. There we go, some lovely colours in these lot. And we've got some nice males in as well. And over this side, as we move further along, where are we? So we've got the small angels. There's a beauty there. To give you some idea, these were the same size as this fella, but he's grown obviously quite a lot in the last three or four weeks. He was originally just the same size as them ones. So we've got some of them. I don't know if you can make out where the spiny eels are. That's a fire eel in there. But hiding in there somewhere is the little spiny eels. 
they've already been out they've already had a feed of the bloodworm some of them anyway axolotls are still doing fine we've still got two of these guys incredible animals they are but the main guy oh, these are the blood red parrots as well that we had earlier um, great looking fish stunning in colour get quite a reasonable size but they are kind of cute as well and we're thinking what should we put in the tank to decorate it up and we'll put some Hugo Kamishi plants in there just to break it down a little bit for them instead of it just being plain and boring and we also need to find some new tank mates for these guys and with them being parrots I think they might be good with a perch boom boom but here we go there he is what an absolutely amazing creature this guy is African lungfish and he's got his legs as well which means he can walk on land look at that here he comes I think it's about every half an hour or so these guys go up at the top get a gasp of air and there's the air bubbles just coming out there from him so prehistoric absolutely incredible animals these survive just about anything and everything absolutely stunning look at the size of him there you go it gives you some idea of the size he's got to be touching 15 inch him has to be but there you go so I'm impressed with the size of him uh, what else did we get we've got quite a few bits in in the unboxing but there's really not time to show you now but the br brochard eye absolutely tiny they are but there we go the plant tank we just literally haven't had time to sort it today so what we've had to do is just dunk the plants in so by 11 o'clock and tomorrow morning this plant tank will be all sorted let's have a look and this is just begging for a new home look at this one guys let's see if I can get this to stand up a bit better some, somewhere so you can see the quality of this piece of bogwood look at that oh, let's try to get it to turn around there you go look at the size of that piece of bogwood that could be in your tank this week for the incredible price of 25 quid absolutely stunning so on here you've got your anubius got your java fern as well there's bits of java moss on there and the bogwood itself absolutely stunning there you go that's the size of it it's got to be about two foot long nearly brilliant so guys hope you've enjoyed the video if you like this sort of video with the fish unboxing please give us a thumbs up and i know what to do more of them but for now have an incredible weekend thanks for watching Good night.